Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me just before sunset actually. I'm still in Killarney on my day out and I've decided to come up to a place that I haven't visited in a number of years just to see is there any sort of colour there for autumn. And I'm above Tork Waterfall which is an absolutely beautiful waterfall but above that you've got a cascade as well which is in my opinion equally as beautiful. So we're going to have a look here today and I'm going to explain actually my best tips for shooting flowing water. Okay, so hopefully you'll be able to hear me now above all this water noise, but um, I'm going to show you the different things that you can do to be able to get some long exposures of water without actually using any filters. So first shot here now at the moment I've got to the widest that I can go because it is quite dark and that's the main thing is you can get long exposures when you have low light because the more light that goes into the sensor obviously the more difficult it is. But now I'm about an hour before sunset and it's on a grey day so it's quite dark where I am and that helps me to be able to get those shots so first thing I can see here and I'll show you is I've got an f4 I'm going for 150 of a second and it's 1 600 or 1 1600 of ISO so if I take that shot here that effectively will more or less just freeze the water so I'll show you that shot now Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I want to go for my preferred, which is a half a second. So I'll bring it up to a half a second of exposure. And when I look at my meter reading, it's telling me that I'm overexposed. So I'm going to bring my ASO back down to 100. And I'm underexposed here now, even in relation to that. So that's perfect in relation to it right now. I'll take that shot now. And that has some movement that's within the water as well. So that's another good way to be able to get a half a second exposure without filters. Now, if I want to bring that up to, let's just say, one second. So when I go one second, it's telling me that it's a third of a stop overexposed so all I have to do now is just bring up my aperture to 4.5 and what I'll do is I'll bring it to 5 just to be on the safe side and I'll take this shot now and that is a one second exposure okay Next now is to bring it up to two second exposure. And again, all you're doing is you're adjusting your aperture. So I'm gonna bring my aperture here up to 7.1. And now I'll take this shot. Okay, next now I want to bring it up to, let's just say, five seconds. So I go five seconds, I'm two-thirds overexposed, so I'll change my aperture again. I'm now at f9, and again, you'll see this shot. Okay, each one is giving a different flow in the motion of the water so now I'll go up to let's just say 10 seconds so with 10 seconds I bring my aperture up to f13 actually I'll go to f14 I go uh, one third of a stop under just to be on the safe side and we'll take this shot now now 
I'm at 10 seconds already, so I'm going to go to 15, and I'm going to bring it now. Now, I wouldn't recommend that you do this, which is going to F18, but right now it doesn't necessarily matter because there's a lot of chaos within this scene, so I don't think I'm going to get any diffraction or anything like that. So we take this shot now at 15 seconds. And the final one I'm going to go for is I'm going to bring it up to 20 seconds. So I'm going to bring my up as far as F22, which is the smallest that I can go. And then we'll take this shot. So 20 second exposure now of moving water and you don't need to have any filters whatsoever on the camera. There you have it now. Hope you can hear me over the waterfall. I've moved away now to do the outro in relation to this quick video, but it's actually possible to do some long exposures without any filters. What you have to do is make sure that you've got low light, a cloudy day like today is perfect and be close enough to sunset. It's all about the light, it's about controlling the amount of light that will hit the sensor, but that will give you an idea on how you can actually do some long exposures and at different speeds as well you get different motion within the water. It's quite interesting to do if you're ever in a bind, utilize this, you know, use your f-stop and then you're obviously using the light. So thank you very much for joining this quick episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, Schlong the Fall.